Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to thank all the people who subscribe to uh, this channel. Thank you so much. And today I wanted to show you uh, how you can install the new release of Void Linux or just uh, install it. Um, okay, so you go to the website uh, voidlinux.org and go to download and you can download the base image uh, that's what I did over here as you can see void new and I wanted to show you the XFCE one so I already downloaded the, this uh, XFCE image and I saw, as you can see it's uh, this one is 2025 okay let's go to the vm and create a new virtual machine i'm going to uh, install from a local media and uh, select that iso uh, is this one over here so it's auto detected and let's go forward and give it to cpus and uh, two gigs of memory and let's give it 15 15 gigs of disk space and let's call it uh, void linux xfce and uh, custom configuration just make sure you can you check this box before you, if you hit finish make sure the network is selected and just hit finish I'm going to install for UEFI so I'm going to select this one and apply and boot from the CD-ROM first okay and uh, last I'm going to delete this tablet okay and now we begin the installation just hit begin installation Okay, let's make it uh, full screen. Uh, we select the first option, of course. All right, uh, let's uh, adjust the, the resolution. Okay, let's go. Applications, settings, and display. Okay, 1920, 1080, apply, apply. Keep this configuration and close this. Okay, I'm going to open the terminal so we can install void. Okay, let's do let's zoom in a little bit, make this uh, terminal a little bit. Okay, if I can just okay. All right, uh, all you have to do is uh, uh, you can just uh, do this as a root uh, type void linux is the password so and uh, you just type void and uh, installer okay you get to the 
the void installer and you hit on enter and here you select uh, the keyboard uh, layout uh, mine is uh, French so I'm gonna find French and choose that network of course uh, it's gonna give you an option to select if you have Wi-Fi uh, you need to select your Wi-Fi or if you have internet Ethernet yeah, it, it will show up in there so it says uh, the network is working properly so okay and uh, source uh, I always choose local uh, which is the ISO and uh, okay mirrors uh, just uh, find the, the closest mirror to you I always do, do this uh, for global globally available okay and hit enter enter again it's just going to update the, the mirror host name uh, give it any host name you want just going to name it void and the uh, locals is going to give you an option to select your local uh, English okay selected that time zone Africa and of course you you choose your local time or time zone your time zone root password you give it a, a password for the root you repeat that password again now we need to create a user and I'm going to create mine is sh and uh, just can keep that give it a password repeat the password here you just uh, basically what what this is is uh, permissions for the the user okay just make sure that uh, the wheel is selected okay and uh, the bootloader of course we want to select the, the disk here that you want to install the system on it uh, sure now we partition the disk I always use a CF disk so it's up to you and uh, uh, of course GPT because we did the UEFI new I'm going to create the first partition which is uh, the uh, EFI partition I'm just gonna give it a capital M I'm giving it a 128 megs and hit that and go for type and go to the top and select EFI system next you can create a swap partition just going to give it one gig of swap and type is Linux swap and the rest of the disk space going to give it to the root partition okay uh, it's already selected uh, the type which is Linux file system I'm going to write those changes and just type yes and quit uh, next is uh, to configure the file systems and mount points hit that uh, we start with the root partition first and um, ext4 and as, uh, okay. a slash for the root partition hit enter yes and uh, let's do the EFI partition and uh, it's vfat slash boot boot EFI EFI okay yes and let's do swap and just Linux swap yes and after that you just uh, go to done and hit enter and you go to install the system you make sure that uh, my mount points 
are correct. Okay, you have your root partition, which is this one, and the EFI partition, and the swap. Okay, and all of that, and you hit enter. So it uh, did install the system, but uh, there is still one step to do is to choose uh, which services that you want to start when you reboot the system. Uh, you can select uh, whatever uh, services you want to start. For example, eLoginD or meh. Okay. I'm just going to keep the defaults, all right, and uh, hit enter. And yes, I want to reboot the system. It's going to reboot and uh, let's uh, do full screen. As you can see, the grab, grab um, bootloader. Okay, now we can just type the password and hit enter. And there you go. So that, uh, let's fix the resolution. Come on, this mouse. apply and let's keep the config close this okay okay let's do unit as you can see we have uh, new installed system uh, let's make this turn up a little bit big All right, let's do, let's uh, try and update, in, update the system. Just type, uh, okay, let me just fix the, the key map. Yeah, it's fixed. Uh, let's do sudo xpps and install dash s and type the password. Okay, and now we synced the repos. Now let's do check for updates, and there are some updates. Okay, and let's do Let's install uh, new fetch. Okay. 
So uh, we installed uh, Void Linux, uh, the last release of uh, Void Linux. I think that's it for uh, this uh, video. Uh, thank you again for uh, watching and uh, following the channel. And see you in the next video.